I'm again in Austin, Texas. I'm at the Hope Graffiti Wall, and uh, you know, I'm just standing in front of some slime. Yeah, slimy. You're gonna feel slimy after this workout. Can uh, can promise you that. Slime gonna be running down your face when you're done. Ew, ew. shapeless, like water. What's up, players? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Dan Wimmer from Zen Dude Fitness. And today, we've been getting a lot of questions in the YouTube community about how do I run and jump rope at the same time? And I'm like, yo, I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you that running in place jump rope style you feel me brennan and i are here to make these videos to help you guys become better at jumping rope so you can ultimately just feel better look better and have more fun in your fitness regimen so whatever videos we can make to speed up that process or to make it uh easier for you to get the results just let us know that's what we're here for and this is a shout out to my man diego wild west in the youtube community diego representing mexico that's awesome my dude love that country today we're not jumping rope and no we ain't skipping rope we're doing saltar la cuerda. Saltar la cuerda. So for me, it would be salto la cuerda. Did I get that right, dude? Let me know. Let me know. It's cool. I won't be offended. If you guys want the rope used in this tutorial, go ahead and click the link below. It's the cross rope. Again, best, most durable rope that we have out there. If you guys want more of these free workouts in a more structured manner and you want daily access to Brandon and myself, then hop in our free four week challenge so that we can coach you up and give you some advice as you start your journey to becoming a lean jump rope ninja. The first thing I wanna talk about is the regular bounce fundamentals. Now I know I say this in every single video that I shoot, but I cannot tell you enough how you need to, if you watch me in the footage here, all you need to be doing is making sure that your elbows are in, your arms are bent at 90 degree angles. The rope is mostly controlled by the forearms and the wrists. Don't think so much about jumping over the rope, but keep the knees bent, stay up on the toes. You should not be coming more than an inch or two off the ground. And check out these videos too. If you have uh, trouble just doing the regular bounce, I link them up right here. Next, what I want you to do is put the rope down and we are just gonna practice running in place. And just like the last video I shot for jump rope for beginners, I want you to imagine the rope coming under one time for every time that you put your foot down, not twice for every time you swing the rope, just once. So as you see in the footage here, when I'm running in place, I'm envisioning, I'm kind of fake jump roping and envisioning myself swinging that through under my feet, under each foot, one time instead of two. I cannot stress enough how important this is. All right guys, next what I want you to do is grab the rope, start doing regular bounce, and then let's just work in some running in place if you can every five to 10 skips or so. So I just want you going, as you can see me here, I'm just doing regular bounce and then I'm just throwing in a running in place and then stopping. So regular bounce, throwing in a running in place and then stopping. And I'll let you guys follow me here as I take it to slow motion and finish. The next thing I wanna talk about is the click of your wrist. Now, I like to think this, it's very important that you find your rhythm when jumping rope. And so the next thing that goes into this is every time my foot is about to lift up off the ground. So in this case, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Every time that's about to lift, one of those is about to lift up, I click my wrist a little bit forward just to give that rope the momentum it needs to get around. If you see in the footage here, my wrist is basically controlling everything and just skipping. So what I'm doing is as my foot comes up slightly, that's when my wrist clicks, pushes the rope forward and gives it the momentum to go under as my other foot is coming down. Less is always more with jumping rope. There's a big tendency for people when they're running in place to basically do high knees. That's great, I'm glad that you like to overachieve, but it's not necessary. Keep your feet nice and low to the ground and everything from the waist up should look the same as if you're doing just regular bounce. One thing you can do to make this a little bit easier is add in music. I like to do a lot of 90s hip hop or just hip hop in general, electronic music, something that has a good beat and that you can find your rhythm too. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You should be counting that out in your head as you alternate your running stance. 
So that's it today, guys, for the Run and Place tutorial. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below, and we'll see you on the next Zendude Fitness tutorial or workout. Ladies and gentlemen, it is hot as hell out here, and I'm leaving.